Well, good afternoon, everyone. We're about to have a little fun this afternoon. We've been listening to uh, reinventive stories, and most of them have been about industries. And it's all about stories, so I'm going to tell you a story. Elizabeth, you have a beautiful handwriting. And she said, well, Bill, I was born into nobility, and my grandmother, and she insisted I practice uh, violin and piano, and, and I had the classics uh, down pat. You know, that was part of the that what grandma insisted on. By the way, if you should decide to reinvent yourself here, I would commit to finding room in the agenda at our next conference in Porto for a recital. We're very excited about the things that are going to happen the coming, the coming days here. Uh, but of course, uh, with everything that it's new and innovative, uh, you always venture on the unknown sometimes, and that's always risky. And you know, we have to accept risks if you want to have fun, if you want to be different and innovative. And we certainly want to, to be that. You know, what's great about Unicon is we have these opportunities to take these pauses to uh, reinvigorate ourselves. And, um, and that's one thing that every single person that has spoken is so true to their purpose and their passion. And I think that that's actually a, that, that to me is what I'm going to take back. I've never been with such an audience. Because you people are the people I dreaded most as a student. <laughs> and that's that raw spirit of an entrepreneur and a family business and all of those things that during a time where it doesn't look like your business is going to go anywhere, you put that into it and the next thing you know, you reinvent and disrupt. Innovation is impossible if we don't attend to the capacities of that human being. So my invitation now is that for a few minutes, we actually attend to us. As you breathe in, inviting awareness to connect with this body sitting here. And maybe, maybe <coughs> as you breathe out, allowing your body to relax in your own company. Because it's okay, there's nothing to do for a few moments. So what do we learn? Yeah. First of all, what came to my mind through all these stories here, there is a real, real, real great tradition. And, and for going on for ages, and, and so they're really building on that tradition. The interesting was that because they were trying to be patriotic by not drinking French, French wine, wine. Yeah. Yeah. they were yeah. looking for an alternative. And, and they created that alternative by yeah. finding a place like this. I thought that was very interesting, yeah. This is really something unique. When you think of a tree that you don't need to cut to get its main product, this is unique. I think that cork could be big, could be big in the US. I bet lots of people, especially with IKEA, lots of people would want to have tables made of cork and floors made of corks and, and it insulates and everything. It could be really, really big. Yeah, what we saw yesterday with the footwear industry, the textile industry, the cork industry, they had to reinvent themselves for yep. the future. Yeah. And we're right on that cusp. Uh, who, who's our Lexus? Who's going to come and challenge us and yep. do things completely differently to... Yeah. To what we Many of us, I've been in the same kind of school as you're talking about, and you, you're trying to manage a for-profit business in, in a bureaucracy. And these businesses are very, very different. These people have power because they own the business. <laughs> I, I, I really learned a lot about Portugal and taking old industries and old technologies and making them new again. And I think it's an inspiration for us in universities because many of our universities have been around for decades or centuries. And the new challenge is how do we make ourselves relevant for the 21st century and beyond?
maybe sense how does your body feel when you breathe in and when you breathe out. Far away, there in the sunshine, are my highest aspirations. I may not reach them, but I can look up and see their beauty, believe in them, and try to follow where they lead. That's exactly what we're doing here.